<laughs> oh no. Hey guys, it's Bree. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to share with you guys a very special experience. This is my first time ever going tank diving for lobsters. So I'm joining my really good friends, the Arringtons. And if you ever heard of deer meat for dinner or Blue Gabe, you know that they know what they're doing when it comes to fishing, diving, hunting. Oh my goodness, you just name it. They're the original Florida boys. So I'm really excited. I've never been tank diving for lobsters. I'm a free diver, so I don't know what to expect. But today we're going to a spot where I can't free dive. I cannot free dive 80 feet. So uh, the tanks are coming out and we're gonna see what we can catch. What is that redneck? Yep, it's me. I'm taking over her cooking part right now, but she's cooking and I'm filming. So this is the first time that I'm actually cooking for Blue Game. We're gonna make some bacon wrapped lobster. It's the greatest. I think it's it's definitely my personal favorite way to eat them. And a lot of people will wrap shrimp and bacon. Just think of a huge shrimp that is much better quality beet wrapped in bacon and you dip it in butter. So I already have three tails done. I'm gonna get this next one and then I'm gonna Put it in the oven and we're gonna... What are these things? Those are pierogies. Those are the greatest. So ever since I went to Poland this summer, I've been addicted. I used to make these with my grandma when I was little and she's been gone for quite some time. But when I went to Poland, pretty much every meal, I was like, please just give me pierogies. 
and not that they did they gave me a lot of fish but every time i got these i was i was very happy and now that i'm home i've been eating them every morning <laughs> but before i met her and followed her on instagram she'd always have these things in the cup holder it'd be a cup with these things in there and i kept thinking what the god's earth is that now we know she's cooking them for me you're gonna try them what's okay, what's in just, here just green beans just have some greens steaming them up nothing so, crazy this is going to be the best though, I'm pretty sure. I'm excited. Show them how to make one. All right, so I'm just going to cut this in about, I don't know, it's about an inch. I'm going to make six pieces out of one tail. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just going to ball it up and wrap it in the bacon. So I have three pieces here. Some people use toothpicks, but I don't do that because once you start wrapping it up and it cooks, it pretty much just fuses together. Y'all get the point. We'll see you back in a second. So my lobster wrapped in bacon, I'm going to put it in. I have the oven at 350 right now. Hold on a second. What on God's earth is this? <laughs> They're my new favorite slippers. Redneck! Redneck! Come here, Redneck! It, it might looks be in the like game they're room. eating my foot. <laughs> um, redneck, what's it? What is it? Move your foot. Watch him, Redneck. Watch him. No. <laughs> get him, Redneck. Just catch him. Just catch him, Redneck. Oh, no. Get him, Redneck. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and throw him in the He's pulling stuff. my foot. <laughs> <laughs> happens when I cook at Blue Games. Yeah, y'all. She's like, I'm coming to cook for you. And now look. We're gonna... Ow! Ow! Oh, my... She done melted everything. We got rubber in the oven. Oh, my gosh. I didn't check to see if um, there was anything in there. There was something in there. What well, melted off, though? The handle. Off of what? Off that grease thing. Oh no. You have another towel. <laughs> can we start, can we do this again now? <laughs> we can try that again. My bad, I didn't check. And Gabe got all the plastic out, we think. We're, we're gonna try that again. Take two. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna put these in for about 30 minutes and it's at 350. So we're gonna bake 350. I'm excited to try one of these paninis. Panini's, pierogi. Pierogi. Pierogs. I call them pierogs in the morning, actually. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. Now I switched it to broil. So I'm just gonna broil it so that bacon gets really crispy. Yeah? I can't take you serious with those slippers <laughs> on, okay? There we go. Yeah? They're so addicting hot. every morning. Do they make them with other ingredients inside? Mm-hmm. That one's the Parmesan one. I've actually never tried that one. Well, it's pretty darn good. Too. So, we just broiled for about 10 minutes. And I closed the oven while I was boiling. I don't know. Some people do that, some people don't. This one I did, and it's nice and crispy. Can y'all smell that? Mmm. Jake, what do you think? Good. Let's bring him over here and let him meet Frank. Say, what's up, Frank? Hello. Frank needs some lobster himself. Let's see, where's he at? Have we fed Frank blue crab yet? <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> He's so sad. You gotta stick your hand down there and actually feed him with your hand. Oh, I, I think that's probably not the best idea. Come on. He's looking at it. Oh my gosh, Frank, you scared me. <laughs> there you go. Frank, say thank you. So Frank got his lobster. Now we're going to get our lobster. <laughs> Redneck so scared me. Redneck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Are we ready to eat yet or what? Yes, yes, yes. Four hours later. Mmm. So these should be perfect. How many do y'all want? So my kitchen isn't normally like this. 
those of y'all that follow me, I normally try to keep it straightened up. She didn't make the mess, we made the mess. We spent all day building that new tank, getting it set up for Frank, switching tanks. We got stuff going everywhere. Appreciate Bree coming to cook for us. Sneak peek of her new Christmas present. She's gonna be diving in style now. Thank you, dear Lord, for us day. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for letting us get a new home for Frank, and thank you for everything you did. Thank you for letting us go to church and have a fun time and everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And for lobster wrapped in bacon. <laughs> and pierogies or pierogies? Not pierogies, pierogies. Pierogies. Pierogies, those things are good. I just went online while she was cooking and ordered four boxes. Mm -hmm. They gonna be good. How do you like it, Jake? It's good, really good. Dipping it in butter yet? Mm. Is it real hot? We're gonna enjoy this meal in peace. We'll be back in just a minute. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> we gotta get rid of some deer meat now. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. So two things I hope you take away from this video that you learned. One, if you ever have the chance to try lobster wrapped in bacon, you won't regret it. Two, check the oven before you preheat. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're wondering how I met Blue Gabe, I was actually shrimping up in Melbourne and they were up there filming and he's the one who really encouraged me to pursue YouTube. So thank Gabe for me starting this channel and for encouraging me in it and I'm learning as I go, but I really appreciate all your support. And if you haven't checked out Blue Gabe, his link is in my description below. And he does everything, fishing, diving, hunting, eating some crazy things. Guys, I give him lobster wrapped in bacon and he had me eat sand fleas and an iguana. I don't know, you guys should watch some of those videos. It's pretty funny. I'm a texture person, we'll say that. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.